right, so I'm a big Xbox fan, and I think a lot of other people are too that watch this channel. At least I hope they are. And I've been talking a lot about Xbox and Halo and stuff like that lately. I know. We did just have the Xbox uh, Game Showcase, which was kind of exciting for a lot of people, I think. I was a little disappointed, not, not, not a lot of Halo, so you can catch that video on my channel where I talked about Halo. But something really interesting came out of that this week, and honestly... <laughs> There's not a lot of people talking about this. This is something that's been rumored for quite some time. And, well, let's kind of get to what we're talking about. Over at IGN, Phil Spencer was talking, and, well, check this out. I thought we actually might hear something about from you. I mean, you had a great show. I'm not <clears> complaining. <throat> but I thought, well... There's something that's been rumored, that's been talked about. We talked about it on the pre-show. There was a big reaction from our audience here, and that is an Xbox handheld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, the interesting thing is, this has been rumored are, for quite guy, some time, I mean, like for years. You have even. the gamer score to prove it. Like, you <laughs> you walk the walk. You are not a guy that that runs the business. No. And I mean that in a cop. Yeah, yeah. But, but the business around he kind of, I, No, I don't want to say. I think you have to have Sarah on. So he's Sarah talking about Bond, Sarah the Bond. Of Xbox, which is awesome. Which she's great. I, I, Sarah Bond is great. She, I, I am going to do another video about Sarah Bond uh, for something else uh, Xbox related. But he does talk here for a second. And, and I, I want to I, just uh, here. Just listen. Let me just let the man uh, talk, right? Like the future for us in hardware is pretty awesome and the work that the team is doing um, around different form factors different ways to play I'm incredibly excited about it. today was about the games yeah we showed some of our our gen 9 consoles, series s series X the work that we're doing but we will have a time to come out and talk more about platform and we can't wait to bring it to you well, guys. all right I, I'm not gonna let you off the hook quite okay. one more I tried <laughs> so hypothetically, 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 if if Microsoft did an Xbox gaming handheld, you know, PC device, would it be a Steam Deck like dedicated hard piece of hardware that I can <clears throat> play offline, or would it be something? And I this would is important. Need a wide this is very important to stream things from. No, I think if you're what I'm finding, I'll do it this way. So I like my ROG Ally, my ROG Ally is my Lenovo Legion Go, fantastic, my Steam Deck. I think this being is kind able of a slap in the face is really to Sony. You can, you can read. So what's interesting, because he, he goes, here, let me see if I can find it. My Lenovo Legion. Um, maybe it's right around here he goes. If you're, what I'm finding, I'll do it this way. My connection to hey, right stream here. things from. No, I think if you're, what I'm finding, I'll do it this way. So he goes, no. Uh, he almost slips up there. I think it's pretty... Pretty on the nose, we're going to see a handheld Xbox, which kind of makes sense. I, I've been saying, if you're somebody who's followed me on Bridging the Geekdoms, to Slash Free Talk, to anywhere that I talk about video gaming, anywhere that I've ever talked about video gaming, I say it, and I say it over and over and over again. The future of video gaming is handheld. It is on the go. It is gaming on the go. It is not VR. It is not AR. AR is a nice gimmick. It is going to be something that is going to be more about spatial computing. It's going to be more along the lines of what Apple is trying to do with, with AR, I think. That's going to be more the realm that AR is going to fit in. It's not going to be gaming. Sure, there'll be gaming elements to AR and VR, and there is. Meta works well with the Quest and, and things like that. There are the Vive. Those things work fine for gaming. It's okay, but when it comes to gaming, there's a reason why the Switch is as big as it is. There's a reason why people are buying Steam Decks left and right, and they're making a second-gen Steam Deck because it works. People like it. There's a reason why people are so upset about the Sony PlayStation, what is it, the Portal or whatever they call it. There's a reason why people are upset with it, because it isn't what it should be. And Microsoft understands that, Xbox understands that, they understand that they need to move in a different direction, that they need to move in a direction where you want to play Halo on the go, you want to play Gears of War on the go, you want to be able to just pull your console out of your bag on your lunch break at work while you're waiting in the car for someone at the doctor's office, while you're waiting in the car while your, your kids are at soccer practice. You want to be able to just play that game while you're out and about. And the way that 
cell service is working, 5G, 6G now coming into it. Online play on the go is even getting better and better. Xbox Cloud Gaming is getting better. You see, Game Pass. Imagine having Game Pass at your fingertips on a console that is like Xbox. I do believe that we can expect in 2025 an Xbox handheld console. I believe 2025 will be the year for that because 2026 is going to be held for something different and that is in an upcoming video that I'm going to be doing. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think we are going to see a handheld Xbox console? Do you think it will be as soon as 2025 like I do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With all that said, I'll catch you all later.